girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Good morning. Yes, it is actually morning. Um, today is Wednesday, June 15th, and I am headed to work, but I just wanted to go ahead and start this vlog off. So today I need to go to Aldi, and then I also need to, well, I don't need to, I kind of need to, not really, but I want to go to Trader Joe's, but I'm going to film that in a separate video. So I'm going to go to Aldi after I go to work. I actually do need a lot of groceries. So I have been um, getting a meal delivery um, kit for the last six weeks, I think. But I cut that off, girl, because um, the price went back up. You know how I do. I'm going to use me a new email address when it's time for me to sign up again. But I just went ahead and cut it off. So I do need more groceries than normal since I'm not getting that box this week. Ooh, the sun. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of things on my list at Aldi. And then, of course, we are going to check out some of the Aldi finds because they have a few nice things coming out. Actually, I saw a beverage dispenser that I really liked. I'm not going to get it, although I really like it. Um, but yeah, so I will catch y'all in the store. Okay, the sun is the sun is doing a lot right now, okay? So I will catch y'all in the store, all right? See ya. I am going straight to the section where the markdowns are because I want to see what's up. Oh, wow. When was this ever $10 though? Like, when? Ain't no way I paid actually $11 for that. Ain't no way. Oh, let's see. Just like I suspected, it's on sale. Is this the one that I said that I liked? It doesn't smell bad at all. Half price. Um, these are still here. Not a fan of the little outdoor collection. Oh, I did say that I wanted to get a re-diffuser. I need to figure out which one I like. And then um, I'm gonna grab some of these candles that are on sale too. I hope the other ones are marked down as well though the um aromatherapy essential oil ones is what i really want oh i absolutely love this i mean come on peach bellini sangria strawberry mimosa and then orange mimosa for your fancy charcuterie and the ingredients list is good it don't got no crazy ingredients in it baby i'm gonna have to grab this and then for my candles, I got this one because I do remember that I like this one and it smells amazing. I mean, it's $2. And then I got two of those because that's all that they had. And then I got this one for the guest bathroom. Well, it's not the guest bathroom. It's the bathroom on our main level. This is perfect. All I need is a little reed diffuser in there and it matches the decor as well. So I grabbed two. This is what I saw in the Aldi ad. This beverage dispenser is glass with the wooden top. It's so nice. They just turned that inward. Oh, that is so nice. I would love to have this, but alas, I don't have anywhere else to store big things because I have so much serving stuff. Um, oh, they got the big um trays for ice cubes for your cocktails. I saw this in Target. And it was $10 in Target, but the Target one comes with a lid. So I do like that. And then they have these um, little specialty ones for your water bottles as well. Remember the glass water bottle that they had could only fit um, these kind of ice sticks. Oh shit. Oh my gosh, somebody got to these before me. My heart is about to be broken, but I forgot to tell y'all that last week I went to another Aldi and they had some of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the shelf and clear through all of these essential oil candles that I see. There's not many left and it looks like a bunch of them 
are just this one, which I still like, but that lemongrass one was my absolute favorite. And I tell y'all, I am heartbroken that they only had, hold on, one of these left. I am truly heartbroken. I'm so glad I found them at another Aldi um, last week, but this was my absolute favorite one. And for $1.99, are you kidding me? But I do like the stimulating one as well. So I am gonna grab two of those, but I will be on the lookout at another Aldi for that lemongrass one. Um, this is new. Large fire put with wood storage. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. I remember getting a tablecloth from Aldi last year, but I think it was actually $9.99. I just bought a simple black and white one and I bought it for our outdoor table. And they still have these beautiful oil and wine crutes, cruets. I don't know. It's basically like a decanter though for your oil and wine. And then let's see what other new stuff they have over here. Oh, they got the snap lids. Oh, I love that. This is what I have at home for our food storage. Reusable marker included. Hold on. awesome and then they have some that are little bowls and then some that are rectangles i mean child who cares about this nobody cares about that but if you want to make a homemade freeze pop they have the little trays for your kids that's cute and then your little thermos for your wine for going to the beach and whatnot oh this looks like kind of like the tablecloth that I had, except like I said, mine was black and white. And then they got some more candles. Ooh, I love these containers. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh, coconut cream, macaroon, wow. These containers are gorgeous. Can y'all see this? I don't know who they copied for this container, but a baby is giving. All of them are gourmand scents though, so they all smell like food. That one was berry almond. The first one was coconut cream macaroon. This one is raspberry rose. Hopefully this one smells good. Oh yeah, this one is good. It has berry, currant, and vanilla. Let me try this again. The vanilla isn't too strong. This container is absolutely gorgeous but the scent doesn't come off as strong as some of their other candles though, unfortunately. They got some new candles. Coastal Mint and Sage. This probably smells amazing. Not as strong as I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Beach Bungalow. Hmm. This smells like a man. This smells like wood fire. Isn't this a Bath and Body Works dude? Like a like a campsite woody scent. I like that though. And then citrus peach and sangria. Ooh, yummy. This smells like candy. Oh, this smells like the um the peach sour gummies. This smells exactly like that. And then the last one is strawberry lemonade. Ooh. Mm. Smells a little childish, but I like it. So that's it for their new three wick candles, like their standard Huntington, Huntington, Hunting, Huntington home candles. That's it for their new ones. I'm really disappointed by this one. This is not given like it really should. But the beach bungalow is masculine. Everything else is kind of sweet. I got the O Cedar Mop Dupe plus um, the refills. So they could put a new mop head on it. new wax warmers one that looks like a mason jar and one that is a little beachy these are so stinking cute outdoor lanterns and the quality feels pretty good i can't even lie 12.99 oh that's dope little solar disc lights to just stick in the ground they have a bunch of outdoor stuff like a bunch. Dang. I remember when these used to be $2.50 and I don't even think they always had this flavor. I know for sure that they used to have these two, but this is really sad. 
Inflation, I am sick of you. Girl, go away. Actually, inflation is not a girl. Inflation is obviously a man. Boy, go away. This does not sound good. Maybe it's because I don't like like dried yogurt and stuff. Ooh, this sounds good though. And I don't even eat chocolate like that. That's probably good. Y'all thinking what I'm thinking. Are they trying to copy Chick-fil-A? Polynesian sauce? Is this supposed to be like Chick-fil-A's Chick-fil-A sauce? Are these air bubbles on the inside? It's giving Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's a little yellow, like not as mayonnaise-y. And I know this because I know how to make homemade Chick-fil-A sauce. Anywho, not getting it, but I'm really disappointed that they don't have soy sauce because I actually needed some of that. The news was saying that there is short supply of feminine hygiene. So if you see the products that you need and that you like, child, just go ahead and buy them. Just go ahead and buy them. Hold on, this is new to me now. Kombucha with probiotics. Well, I mean, all kombucha has probiotics, but I've never seen this can before. And it's only $1.49. Yeah, let me get a few of these. And look at the sugar content, only 13 grams. Love to see it, love to see it. Limited edition flavor, so mint lemonade. Is this the pomegranate citrus? Yes, need that. Now that I think about it, Wegmans has this flavor, kombucha and cans. So that's probably where they're getting that from. I'm getting it because it's on sale and it's a good price. Go ahead and grab some almond flour. Let me check the date. We still good. I'll grab this and then I need some nuts for my salads. I always buy Walmarts, Walmarts, walnuts or almonds. The almonds are a little bit cheaper, but walnuts are our household favorite. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab these. I'll be wanting the pecans, but baby, I don't wanna pay the pecan price. You see that? I'm sad. This is the only one that they have and it's open so I'm definitely not buying this but this veggie burger is the best one not that one and I don't see the other ones oh. ew who would ever buy frozen sushi please tell me that you are not one of those people please god I remember when this bag of salmon used to be six dollars and fifty cents uh, anywho, since they didn't have my um, vegetarian, well, my vegan um, filet, oh shit, my, my vegan veggie burger, my veggie burger, oh my god, I'm going to grab this and then I think I'm going to finally try their salmon burgers, teriyaki salmon burger or chipotle, I'm going to go with chipotle. It's four to a pack. Let's check the ingredients list. Salmon is the first ingredient. We like that. One burger. Oh, yeah. Let's get these. Hope that they're good. Pinto beans, cheddar cheese, brown rice, mozzarella, whole and simple. Huh. The ingredients list isn't bad. What is the price? Whole and simple. Whole and simple. I don't see a price. And they got this one too. Chicken, cilantro, and lime. Hmm. I need some frozen fruit. So I'm gonna grab these and cherries. Ew, no. Don't want the sour cherry. Pass. They don't have the tropical. Oh, yes, they do. And this one. I saw this in their ad too. The egg share. It says it's for outdoor, right? Yeah. 
I think this is $450 from the ad that I saw. And then look at this outdoor fire pit. It's on sale for $64.99. The original price was not that $84.99 price right there. It was, what, $200, I think? Yeah, so that's um, a pretty good markdown. And then this one is new. It's gonna give you like that campsite feel, which is super cute. And then this one is on sale at my store too. I heard that these things get you loose. They got a mango and a strawberry. I am a margarita snob, so I do not buy pre-made margaritas. But if you don't mind it, go ahead and try it for $13.99. This is a knockoff of some other brand that I can't remember. I heard these were here. I'm disappointed because they don't have the price on them. But I heard that when you buy the pack at, I think, Costco, it's a bit cheaper. So there's your info. Pretty sure, no, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure the Elote seasoning is right over here. Oh, I ended up putting that back too. I'm not gonna get it because I'm getting too much other stuff. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> Y'all, I get so distracted. Oh, this looks so bougie. Okay, one thing at a time. They have this Parmesan garlic sauce, which we all know is amazing. They got the regular buffalo sauce. This is so cute and it's in glass. Caroline, Caroline Nub barbecue sauce, my bad. And then white barbecue sauce, yum. This is probably so good. Ooh, that's probably so good. And they got ranch seasoning. If you um, did not buy the Trader Joe's one, then they have that here. I need my elote seasoning though, ASAP. Hope they got it down here. It's usually on the corner, boom, there it is. Let me buy two so that my heart isn't broken. Cause like I said, my Trader Joe's didn't have it. So I'm gonna get two from here. And then I don't need any umami, I don't think. And then I don't need this, it's a little bit salty. I'm pretty sure this is the most stuff that I have ever purchased from Aldi at one time. Look at my basket. Jesus Christ. Oh. They got this for outdoor storage too. $109. Little deck box. All right, y'all, let's review. Aldi did not have wax paper or soy sauce and then something else that I needed. Um, inflation, boy, bye. You got to go. You got to go because you're getting on my nerves. My total today was 100 and $20. Yeah, $120 cuz I spent $60 at Trader Joe's and I remember thinking to myself, oh, I spent $180 in grocery stuff today. Okay, so that's that. Now, I am completely heartbroken that somebody got to those essential oil candles before me today. And the whole point is that my Aldi does their markdowns on Wednesday. So somebody got to that store bright and early this morning and bought up all of those candles. It must be one of you girls who've been watching me. It's obviously been one of you girls, but I got them candles. If I wanted, I could go to one to two more Aldi's. But girl, now with these gas prices, I saw that regular gas was $5 and some change by me. Ain't nobody got time for that. But if I'm in the area of another Aldi, then I'll go ahead and check. But I'm not going to go out of my way just to buy more candles. So that is all that I have for you all. I did get my red big chicken because I've been wanting some of that on the salad. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna put on the salad today. I'm gonna do some red bag chicken salad because all I've been eating this week is shrimp. Shrimp for dinner, shrimp on top of my lunch. So yeah, um, that's all that I got for y'all. I will catch y'all in the next video. Until then, bye.